So I guess they both want to warm up their keyboards by entering lots of garbage. So and this screaming is screaming at it. In terms of national supremacy, this is Idaho versus Denmark. And it's rural Denmark, by the way. <laughs> it's extremely rural, rural Idaho as well. I don't think. Yeah, 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 no, no doubt about that. But I like, that that really failed. Like it, it's not, it's not like you know, <laughs> Idaho versus Copenhagen. It's it's you know, <laughs> rural America versus rural De Denmark. But they both have a plasma tunnel to start with. Yeah. And 25 minutes to the name and verse a go. To, here we go. We're good. Do the countdown. Uh, five, four, three, two, Eins. one. Let's go. Something. Okay. Farius is, he doesn't like his code very much. He's gonna he, delete, he's oh, he deleted all of it! Oh, oh yeah. it's just gone! Oh, snap. All that code just went away. And, and he adds, like, a uh, fucking purple color. That's purple. Yep. Oh, but it's blinking. No, that, that's just his keys. Is it? And, and the thing is, like, he he told me before, he, he knows that the, the Bonsomatic thing allows it to write a lot of shaders and, like, bam. Well, at least purple is better than a plasma tunnel. But, but I think I think the thing is, uh, Jake wants to, like, focus all of his uh, crappy brain craft uh, onto making something boom on the screen. Whereas I think uh, Blueberry wants to entertain the people. That's that's an interesting statement, Eric. <laughs> Did I say crap too much? <laughs> uh, well, well, if so, <laughs> if someone is taking notes, please write down everything that is being said. Uh, we're recording it and putting it on YouTube. Perfect. Also, it's streamed live on the internet. Yeah. It's, I, I guess it's trend, trending as well, which helps. Is it live on Twitch? Blueberry is, he has a- Who cares? He has a curious green line at the left side of the screen, while Ferris has an interesting red pulse yeah, going on. It's almost like a lemon versus the blood orange. Re uh, interesting note, Eric, because you're, yesterday I actually tried out all the different flavors of San Pellegrino. And they have blood orange and lemon. Yeah, yeah. And blood orange is winning by far. So, Bluebird is trying to... Oh, he's, he, he's, he's doing a very old school thing here. You can see he, he samples within 320 by 200. So it's a very VGA resolution. His, oh, that's uh, a keen eye you have right there. It's actually looking for something like a Commodore 64. Um, yeah. Like. Or, or, or an Amiga. Uh, no, it's, well, is it? Well, the, the Amiga has different video modes. There's, you know. You're on thin eyes here, Eric. Okay. We're looking at a lot of decimals from Ferris. Yeah. I'm pretty sure those seven decim eight seven decimals really helps. I, I heard uh, him bragging getting this about effect this. just right. I heard him bragging about Pi before, and you know, like, is oh, he knows some, at least eight digits of Pi. He, he's not just bragging about Pi, Eric. He's just bragging about decimals of fractions of Pi, right there. I think there. he's just writing r rubbish right now, and uh, but we'll see. We're just a few oh. minutes in, and oh. Ferris already has colors going. And he has like a plasma. Yeah. Very low res or low fi or whatever. So I've uh, I've heard that uh, Blueberry is like preparing a little bit of stuff for like old school uh, kind of direction. Oh. Ferris, oh. oh, that's a very very cool looking high res plasma. This Can we see that, Ferris? Can we see it, please? Full screen. Oh, oh yes. look at that. This looks nice. That was very short lived. More. More. I want to see the noise more. So, Blueberry has a, like a sharp line in the middle, and that's. 
thing is, Blueberry always, Blueberry always kind of knows where he's going with the uh, things. Like, I remember he, the revision. He did this whole. I, I think Eric, that my my nose had the right intuition. He's he's going for the C64 border. Yes, yes, he is. He very much is. And if that if that ain't classy, I don't know what's classy. I wonder how much memory is gonna report us free. He is is even letting us know that this stuff is pre-cal. It should not be counted towards his 60 FPS dojo. <laughs> Meanwhile, on his first side, well, he's preferring a text pl plotter here. You can see he, uh, he kind of uh, he, he had looks a for cell index and uh, he had an extremely nice noise going earlier. Yes, he, he did. Um, but we didn't get to see much of it. But it was it was laid back and chill. His function now is very good text. noise. It takes in a, a UV and it rep reports now a noise. It makes no sense. I think we're gonna see a scroller or something like that. Noise two? What is that? Okay. Um, spoiler alert. I was talking to Mr. Jake earlier, and he told me that he had memorized some noise functions. That was gonna save his life one day. Is that not considered like doping? It's similar, but the rules here are extremely fuzzy. Oh yeah. And Blueberry added a loading uh, raster interrupt thing. So he's going totally for the old school uh, masturbation, I guess. That is the technical term for it, Eric. Yep. But I don't know if it is, if it, if it is the PC term. I think yellow is safe to say these days. Well, he's, Ferris has a, no longer a yellow background. It's more like a vertical black and white or black and gray scale set of bars. And oh, now, and I was making a grid. So I guess he's trying to make some kind of pattern out of it. I, I think we're we're gonna see some kind of a text plotter. Earlier we saw some beautiful noise by Ferris and I really want to see that return. As I pointed out in the previous round, uh, these guys have a tendency to hide their actual intentions until the last minute when I uncomment those crucial lines that just add another dimension to the effect. By the way, people, uh, you should vote up front. We, uh, like, you can change your vote at any point, so, you know, vote right now, and we, if the competition changes, you can change it. He's uh, writing some kind of, uh, like, I think he's trying to tweak the he's adding sign si functions. He that is he... adding signs, Eric. Yeah. He... And adding signs means you are converging towards Perlin noise in some sense, which I... is curious because he has a Perlin noise texture up there. I, I think we're, I think we're seeing mostly tweaks to the, to the supposed loading bars here. That's the first time I've seen errors. Oh. And so apparently, that's, that's curious. Yes, that, is, that is very interesting. <laughs> I didn't know we had those, <laughs> actually. I, as, as a point of fact, uh, Blueberry oh, used. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, it's that, a that's plasma. cool. But it's Blueberry. a plasma, ladies and gentlemen. And please pay attention to the fact that it's a plasma inside uh, a C64 like border. Yes, that, that is very true. Yeah. But it should be said that the, the compilers are somehow not uh, allowed 
Okay, considering the fact that uh, Blueberry used to work as a compiler developer for the GLSL compiler at ARM. So he should know the shader language pretty well. But it's a complicated language, Eric. It is, it is. But uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I still would have expected more. Ferris added some weird line patterns there that I, I, I suspect no one likes. Similar to his, uh, you know, uh, I don't know to call it a ponytail or whatever it is, but uh, you know, it's weird. It's actually printed, that's, okay Ferris, I didn't know you have it in you to make a, like a teletype like thing. And now it's going the backwards direction, so totally. I love this. I, I do have a feeling Oh my god, Eric, this is so organic. This looks very nice. And I, I think it would be... Did you buy this effect at Whole Foods Blueberry? Yeah. I, I would really like to see some dithering on top of this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Look at that! He's just oh, spreading he, out like int that. dither. This is this is going somewhere. Ivec two <laughs> going or went somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Jake is still oh, yeah, like this. This is like the one D equivalent I, of I, the two D you just saw. Yeah, I feel this is the logic coma thing. It's like you know, try try to pretend like the stuff you're doing is advanced by like scrolling it or something. It's uh, it's moving pretty. This is like the Atari 2060, no, 2600 um, version of the thing that Blueberry just did. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's the full res, full bit depth. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm sounding a little partisan. I'm, I'm I, I I I don't like that it's wrapping around, but that's that's my perf personal preference. Uh, it's like yeah. I forgot to hate that. Yeah, but it's uh, I, I actually like the the way it's going. It's like you know sand waves. It's it's moving s somehow. It's we're down to th 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Yeah. So we're we're we crossed the halfway mark. So. They do need to start stepping up the games. Oh, and now Blueberry added some dithering, yay! Okay, okay, my... Oh my! Okay, this is special. Yeah, it kind of looks like an Outrax demo from 2006. That is very true. 2007, I, mu I must correct you there. And I must um, also point out that this looked bad in 2007. It did look bad then, and it still looks bad now. But we're uh, imitating Amiga, I guess. No, Lord, is still, this an Amiga or like, I have no idea what- 64 I don't know. Like, imitating something. Like, judging by the border, it's still a C64 thing, but it's very, very high res. I wish it had less pixels. No one said ever, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we are still uh, sort of in the middle of this competition between... It's, it's actually a legendary competition between Blueberry and Ferris! Let's get some applause going just because of the fact that they're there! Yeah. Riding code against each other! And one in one dimension and one in two dimensions! And right it's, it's still, you know, rural Denmark versus rural America. Yeah. America. It should be easy for the Danes. They know planes. So, what are you gonna use the rest of the screen for, Ferris? Jake made the like possibly slowest scroller ever. I must say that th the fact that these borders are actually spot on, C64 borders. Please correct me 
I'm I'm a millennial, uh, probably. By the well, uh, they're in 60 hertz right now, aren't they? So that's the wrong refresh that's rate. The wrong that's a very good point. Uh, yeah. Deduct 10,000 points from Blueberry yeah. <laughs> for the wrong refresh rates. But I think that Blueberry is somehow, somewhere in here, encoded the actual correct values for the C64 borders. And there's a plasma going on in the middle. And uh, meanwhile, on Ferris's side, he has two printers printing at virtually yeah. the wrong... We have two really bad scrollers going on. Uh, so, so Jake made his amount of sake scrollers go from one to two, which is, you know, an improvement of... Uh, we uh, are... Percent, but it's still not very interesting. We're approaching 10 minutes left. Jake, I mean, seriously, you're gonna get fired if you don't step up your game. Oh yeah, and we just passed 10 minutes, which I guess I just well, repeated. Eric, uh, looking beyond the fact that it's just unreadable text printing, it's a little bit cool, isn't it? Like, you haven't seen that. You've seen Plasmus before. But, well, the thing is, uh, Blueberry is right now, like, moonwalking over his uh, ass. That's the... <laughs> That's very, a very dangerous thing to be moonwalking over when it's like 10 minutes left of the competition. We've, we've seen this before. What if Jake throws some signs on top of those things? Last minute. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely not saying that's not possible, but, uh, but, I, but I, still, like, I still want some promise here. And it now looks like uh, Blueberry did a step backwards and did the. And we nice actually dithering. we actually have our first caller. That's Torben calling yeah, yeah, yeah. in. Yeah. Let's so, call in and see. Torben is calling in through Facebook. Let, I didn't even know that was possible. So Torben, let's hear you. No one knows what you're saying, Torben. <laughs> you have to just speak louder, Torben. Scream. I oh, hang up. Okay. If you call back, Turbin, we'll totally put you on. Let's just assume that he said that, uh, you know, uh, Nazareth is a shitty group. And if you call back, Turbin, uh, Oda is actually preparing for some extremely hi-fi putting you on experience. Yes, please call back. We, we would like to take your call. And if anyone else has a like thing they would like to say, we're totally open to calls. So now no, we have a slight improvement here. There's a red and a, and a black shitty scroller. And uh, like I I have like I'm trying to look at the cone and trying to like consider this not horrible, but it, it looks really bad. And I, I don't know what the code is trying to Meanwhile on Blueberry's side, he added some blue to the plasma. Yeah. Makes the colors go more like crazy and shit. Which, you know, the old school platforms that this is supposed to emulate could never do, but it looks possible. So you buy it. Um, Torben's, I missed, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was Salmiak is something in the message. I'm so sorry I missed you. Right there. Torben, please call back. Okay. Now we're down to seven minutes. I'm extremely curious and what Jake, uh, aka Ferris, actually wants to do about this because there is a very slow moving terminal on the left hand, right hand side doing green. And similarly, a yeah, very slow moving terminal on the, on the other side doing red. Yeah. What is this? Who knows, like, he, he also grew, like, a ponytail that no one understands, but, uh, you know, you, you can never understand that guy fully. But we get, we're getting near... Okay, we the have end. the most fierce shader writers ever on the stage, That's and you have six and a half minutes to do something more than a lo-fi plasma and some text that doesn't even read like text. But I would... Uh, suggest that everyone votes. You know, you can still change your vote whenever. So vote r now rather than, you know, last minute. Because it is easier. And also, like, you know, who's going to vote for Jake? So 
Like world, world for the not Jake right now. I'm starting to wonder if this is what what Jake actually memorized. Oh, is but, it a but now something, now something is happening here. Yeah, you can start to tell the ind individual characters apart. Yeah, there's like lines going on. I mean. It actually looks extremely cool with the actual code overlaid. Yeah, well, the, the code, the, the code actually seems to mean something, and it seems like it's code, code on top of something that means nothing. But let's see what happens here. And oh yeah, up on five uh, minutes. Yeah, has has opted for. Some more synchronization to go into the background effect, and now we have extremely violent raster bars over plasma. Yeah. Woo! It seems like the Blueberry added the loader for cannon fodder. The logo for what? The loader for cannon fodder. Can cannon fodder? Cannon fodder. Oh, okay. War never been so much fun. All right, but it seems like Jake is now changing to a circle pattern on the on the red side, and the green is still. So these yeah, guys, green. they're not exactly noobs of shaders, and they have four minutes and twenty seconds left to make a difference. And they're still playing in around the two D plane, and they have a ten eighty something. Uh, Ola, can you please explain the actual hardware specs that play? The actual what now? Gazillion, the hardware. The, um, the what? hardware. What hardware? Yeah, they, are, they, are they writing on their own hardware? Is that the thing? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Jake's There's... on his hipster MacBook and Blueberry's on his reasonable laptop, I guess. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a little bit about this. There's like about a gazillion flops. I have to admit that I was totally wrong. They're actually not competing on the compo machine right now. They're actually competing on their pathetic little laptops up there. Yeah, shitty laptops. <laughs> okay. I don't know, like, but like, uh, I, I would really like to stress out that we're actually having a pretty interesting uh, position where two of the most kind of fierce uh, shader coders are both doing really 2D effects. On their laptops. Who cares about the laptops, but okay. No, like right now, it's more like whether it's a 664. There's a stream on the left. So right now, oh, we're at three minutes left. So uh, you both better bring your A game. It currently, I, I would say there's uh, someone bringing a consistent picture on screen and someone bringing some random red blobs. You know what I mean. Don't you, Jake? I'm pretty sure if it was, if if you had like a thousand of the CPU power at your disposal, it would look fantastic. Like, I hope this is gonna turn out to be like some kind of weird, like, logic comma instructions, blah, blah, blah. Stuff is, like that. is Ferris trying to confuse us by having two very similar looking code displays while the other one is showing us plasma with code on top? Two minutes left. Yeah, so we're less than two minutes. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, it's time to remind you of how this competition actually works. We've been saying a lot of ridiculous things, yeah. trying to compare this to 8 bit platforms. They're, they're totally not working on 8 bit platforms. They're actually working on 64 bit platforms right now. 256 with, with uh, monstrosities for GPUs. Yeah. But they're, they're still doing very interesting stuff, I would say. and. Uh, we're, we're now down to like one and a half minutes and I, uh, I, I'm very interested, interested in seeing uh, the patterns that we're, we're going to see here now from Jake because you, get, you can tell that he's, he's trying to do some kind of uh, letter uh, writing. Ola here is here to inform you about how to actually vote in this competition because we 
totally couldn't tell you. Yeah, uh, it's one minute left right there, and uh, as always, to vote, you go to party.soulscoggin.no and vote with your registered users. Just go to live coding and enter it in. All right, so it takes back, it's 45 seconds very soon. What are we seeing? I think we, we are seeing a plasma and something that looks like a circle. I think Jake is trying to quickly make a Logicoma logo or something like that. It's, uh, it's a circle with blobs scrolling through it. And uh, he has 30 seconds left right now to try to, to nail the logo of his group. It's still angled the wrong way. It's still, you know, the wrong number of circles. But but we're actually watching the uh, Clash of the Titans here. Yeah. And it's we just are. 14 seconds left. And we need the audience to decide it which... It is Blueberry forfeited. No, oh, not what? forfeited. Who like, is he, winning? He, he, Four, he, three... He. Two, one, go! Woo! Keyboard. All right, so uh, while we just leave the effects on the screen, uh, let's go through them. Let's start with uh, Blueberry. We have Blueberry's effect in full screen, please. So what are we seeing here? It's plasma and random reservoirs. It's yeah. obviously playing to the old school card here. Yeah, so we're seeing a plasma effect uh, with uh, pretty few colors actually, like uh, dithered pretty nicely. Uh, down, it, down to a it's smooth, a little funky. too nice to be an actual C64 effect. That might be true, but it, it looks kind of plausible, I would say. Yeah. And let's go to Ferris's effect. Let's have it. I have, I have no idea what this is. This supposed is to be. like something went wrong in an Amiga. What? So he tried to like meta a live coding combo. So uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're allowed to applause. Uh, all right, but so now that we've here. seen uh, both effects, I think it's time to close down the voting. In five, four, three, two, one, and voting is closed. So that means it's time to see who goes on to the final. Congratulations to Blueberry! And fuck you, so Jake, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a uh, quick break. Um, let's say five minutes until the final. Um, yeah. Exciting, never seen before final, so don't miss it. Don't go too far into this forest and get lost because this is where it's gonna happen in just a few minutes. 